Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I have a mini album project to share with you. This is a masculine guy mini album. Um, it'd be great for Father's Day or a birthday gift or a guy or whatever. But when I saw this paper, I thought, oh my goodness. I've been kind of enamored with the Photoplay company right now. So this paper collection is called This Guy and it's by Photoplay. And I use the 12 by 12 paper collection and the sticker sheet that comes with it. You get two sets of sticker sheets as well. So that's what I use to create this mini album. And then I have a tutorial already on the page construction, just so you know. The mini album covers measure six and a quarter by five and a quarter. The spine is two and three quarter inches. And I did put six pages in here. So on the front cover, I use the Tim Holtz film wheel uh, bigs die and I cut this out of black chipboard and then I used some distress paint in copper to cover it up make it copper here and then I added some butterbee scraps metals which are my favorites um, some of the mixed gears here one of the clock faces I layered some of the gears here as well and then I put the sticker from the sticker sheet on some craft colored cardstock and then put it on some dimensional foam tape and added it here and this is the spine and here is the back. This paper is fabulous. I did ink around all the edges with walnut stain distress ink. So you open it up and on the inside front cover, I used one of the 4x6 cards and made just a belly band here and then inside I have a flip book. I did use some solid brown cardstock um, for the photo mats and that's actually from Stampin' Up! It's called Early Espresso. So then I have two photo mats right here. I left it plain on the back. So this goes right in here. So on the pages, I used a border punch here from EK Success, which looks like the little notebook paper. Again, some metal pieces right here. I put this sticker on some black chipboard and popped it up on some dimensional foam tape. I added two enamel dots from Doodlebug. And then here's the photo map for this one. And they're plain on the back. So they have brown cardstock and then they're plain on the back. And all the photo mats are exactly the same. Again, some of the cute wood green paper here. So the way the page works is you flip it over this way and then you have a place for a photo here. I did add another filigree and layered on some gears and then this opens like this. Again a metal corner here, a large place for a photo and I did leave the photo corner open so you and I only glued it around the edge so you can slide the photo underneath. Again a sticker from the sticker sheet and then on the inside of all of these pockets right here we'll have the 3 by 4 cut apart from the paper collection. Super cute. So those go back in there. And then here is the photo mat for inside here. I love the plaids. This paper is probably one of the best guy papers I've seen. I love the Tim Holtz dapper paper, but this one is really, really fabulous. <laughs> Over here, again, you have another metal piece. And I, again, cut it in half with my scissors, added some more of the little doodle bug enamel dots, another sticker from the sticker sheet, photo mat, another photo mat. Love the wood grain paper again. You flip it over. Love this print with the bears. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I used that same sticker with the bears on it and put it on some chipboard and just attached it right here. Again, I only glued it down on the side here. Flip it open. Again, cute light bulb sticker. Another sticker from the sticker sheet. And here is cute little word search 3x4 cut apart. And again, another photo mat here. I added three more little enamel dots here and a strip of the solid brown cardstock that I used that same border punch right here along the edge. Over here again two more enamel dots from Doodlebug. These are some stickers from the sticker sheet and I um, went ahead and put them on some cardstock and then cut around them and then used some dimensional foam tape and added them to the front here. I actually made this album. I went to a 18 hour crop at my local scrapbook store and I completed this album at the crop. I actually completed it and started another one and got it halfway done. So that was kind of great. <laughs> Over here, again, a sticker from the sticker sheet that I put on some of the brown cardstock. It says handsome. I only glued it down with the dimensional foam tape. I moved it to the bottom so you can slide the photo underneath there. Again, a photo corner here from Butterbee Scraps. This flips open. Again, another sticker from the sticker sheet that I put on some chipboard. Another sticker here and another 3x4 cut apart. And here's the photo mat right there. Love the dots. This paper is really, really nice. Really nice. Over here, again, another 
filigree from buttery scraps I cut in half and stretched it out so I could put it underneath the sticker that I put on some foam tape. Again, a photo mat here. And a photo mat here. Again, that fabulous wood grain, dark wood grain paper. Over here, again, I used two filigrees and put them back to back here and used a round filigree in the middle and used a round sticker from the sticker sheet and glued this down. And I did leave it open right here. I just glued it along the bot the sides right here with some E6000 because I had a problem with it falling off when it, when it was just when I was just trying to glue the edges. Um, so right there, again, another sticker from the sticker sheet and another three by four card, some more little enamel dots and a photo mat here. Again, I already have a tutorial on my YouTube channel on how to make this page. So if you're gonna, I'll put the, try to put the link in the description box to the page tutorial. Some more enamel dots from Doodlebug right there. Over here, again, another sticker from a sticker sheet. I put on the craft cardstock and cut around it just to leave a border. A couple more enamel dots and that cute light bulb paper and a photo mat and a photo mat here. Love the, I think that's Argyle print. No, it's not Argyle. Pound suit. Duh. And again, another sticker from the sticker sheet. I made this a belly band so you can um, slide the photo in like that if you want. And over here, again, another sticker from the sticker sheet that I put on some solid brown card stuff and cut around it. Another filigree that I cut in half and I added a gear to the center of the sticker right here. And another photo mat. And on the last page, again, another photo corner here. Another sticker from the sticker sheet that I put on some dimensional foam tape. You flip it open, and I love the bear sticker right here. <laughs> so cute. And again, another 3x4 cut apart. And another sticker from the sticker sheet. Love the light bulbs. And on the back inside cover, I did the same thing. I created a belly band with one of the 4x6 cards. It says, Be Your Own Hero. And then I made two more photo mats from some of the leftover papers that I have from the collection. So again, I double matted them. You've got the craft, the early espresso solid, and then the houndstooth design paper, and they're plain on the back. So those go back in there. So there you go, everybody. That's my really fun guy, this guy mini album using the new paper collection from Photo Play called this guy. There you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.